Welcome to SHOT Show. Hey guys, I'm at SHOT Show and I stopped by the Condor booth. They got something different. It's not the old Condor that you remember. These guys are doing an elite line. So basically everybody's familiar with Condor. You know, it's always been a value for um, you know, getting good quality at a lower price. So what happened though is we've had, you know, we had some issues with operators and real world people who wanted something better. So the Condor Elite brand was actually introduced last year, but this year it's really ramping up with new products. And with those products, they all have a theme. Better quality, better stuff, at keeping that value that's built in the condor and keeping that like you know the affordability for people. So if we go come over here and we start looking at yeah, the let's stuff, start from the beginning. you know, yeah. really an example of that is like the sector sling bag. Um, this has been redesigned from last year. It, it was a prototype last year. They started to sell, but what this is is a nondescript looking sling bag. Obviously, You've seen those but it's a fully functional tactical bag. You swing it around, you have multi-access to, to concealed firearms. You have the ability to put in our new pouches that are integrated so you can change this from any mission you need to do and access those pouches. Some of the other really cool features is you could run it this way and it can be ballistic. You put the, the uh, waist strap around here, now we have a front plate. You can, you carry in there. You can put a sappy in here, but we're actually going to be making the soft ballistic inserts through my company that will be offering these. Nice. The other really cool thing is, unlike other offerings, is built-in sling attachment. You break that down, you can attach with a Condor snap sling, snap hook, and you have all those things built into it. So that's kind of the look that we're going for and kind of the feel of Condor Elite. If you notice, there's no molly on this. Some of the offerings still have the molly, uh, but realistically, we're trying to get away from that because of the urban environment, urban response, undercover. So this is a dual purpose bag. You could be walking down the street with this and go full tactical. Nobody knows. Very cool. You know what I really like about that actually? is the fact that it's not a big rectangle on your back. Right, it's the actually, shapes are changing. It's a nice, normal shape. This is a traditional, um, this is the Frontier, obviously based on a traditional pack. The Condor Elite obviously has the upgrades with the airflow system. Mm -hmm. uh, Invista Nylon, we went with a 400 instead of a 1,000, mm -hmm. which was a shift, and people were like, well, that might not be as durable. It's just as durable, but the key is it's lighter. Mm -hmm. So you have the durability balanced with the, the weight, amazing. Um, and then you have like stuff like Rhino skin that's been added to it. The quality fit and finish, the YKK sealed zippers, all gonna make the, the Condor Elite a little bit better than oh, what you're yeah. used to. It's basically reversed. Yeah. Yes. That's so nice. like, you know, debris won't get in there, water. Yeah. Yeah. This is new, no one's ever seen this. This is new today, it's four hours awesome. old at SHOT Show 2016. This is the fail safe pack. And what this is, is a perfect example of what you were talking about. If you look at the shape, aerodynamic design, something someone would wear on a motorcycle, still fully functional. If you look inside, you have all the pouches, like all Condor products have multi-use pouching. One really cool feature on this, obviously you have the YKK zippers, the Invista nylon, but you have some things that you see on higher end bags, integrated, oh, like integrated waterproof bag. So if you're on a motorcycle, it gets rainy, slap that thing off your backpacking. So stuff like that. I love that. I love we're that. we're starting to integrate it. What um what are these right here? I mean I mean I know they're for straps, but these are utility. Yeah, basically what you can do with those is you can put carabiners on or water bottles, oh, okay. extra straps, just hyphalon, just a nice nice little mm -hmm. added value added. And in this center, you got a center pouch here for utility. Oh, okay. All your stuff That's like different. yeah, it's different because instead of accessing the top, mm -hmm. you can just go right here and grab your sunglasses and other things. Very like cool. That. You have a top mounted pouch that has um, also smaller item pouch um, and hydration capability. Um, most of the internals are pretty standardized, but it's the shape and the look and the value. This pack actually retails at 133 so that's a value. Um, and some of these other, like the Sector Slim Bag, this is only 90 bucks. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's move over here to something that's actually really different and really cool. This is the Voss Vanquish Armor System. Now, I'm really excited about this. We haven't even seen this. We haven't even been able to like get our own yet. And we're the testers. Nice. When this was designed, it was designed in mind to give ultimate versatility to the user. All right? So if you look at it, basically, you can take this thing apart and turn it into a plate carrier. This all comes off and just have a standardized plate carrier. You can add these straps to it. 
your, these would be your standard straps that you would use for the plate carrier. Or you can customize it as needed. Add your front pouch if you wanted to do a shotgun. You could take any of these accessories, this being a holster, and you could attach it, add it in, and now you have a vest mounted holster scenario. How are these clips um, attached? They're basically a, a new clip that we're, you were using to go into standard mole. This is all laser cut. Um, if you don't want these, you can put the other straps on. If you want those, you could actually secure this even more secure this way and bring these around. Your cummerbunds, these also hold your side armor. All right? So this, this Vanquish system, probably going to retail about 120 bucks. Wow, I like that. But the value and the versatility, unlike anything that's ever been seen before. Another really cool feature that you won't see on other things, so airflow. And this comes off if you want to have your standard. Most other co competitors just have a standard flat nylon with a little bit of airflow. This is our standard or our, our customized Condor Elite airflow system. So you have maximum, uh, uh, you know, stuff for perspiration and, and sweat and hot weather combined. Nice. Pretty cool, huh? That is awesome. One thing to note is these pouches. So these basically will go and integrate in all the products. You can insert these in this bag in any configuration oh, nice. you want and you can double stack them. So super versatile. This particular product, the Drawdown, at first glance looks like a fanny sack. Everyone's like, oh man, you got a fanny sack. It's a lot more than that. It actually was initially designed as a waste pack that would turn into a tactical carrier. I didn't even realize you had one on. I know. <laughs> um, the cool thing is, is it can be used in any configuration. We actually started to have it like this, so you'd have all your pistol mags available up here, or rifle mags as needed. The really cool thing, super proprietary, is it'll fit any belt. So from a five inch battle belt, all the way down to a Cobra belt, which actually I like the Cobra because it doesn't flop around. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, so you can now put this as a, on your, uh, I'm an instructor, so I do a lot of firearms. So I run this as a dump pouch in the back. On, and I can just take it on and off of my belt without having to roll off all the loops and take off all the hook and loop, or the, uh, the mole, rather. Uh, the other thing that's really cool is the ID panel. Obviously comes out for police if you're in that, in that game. Mm -hmm. And every pouch is customizable, again, with these inserts that we sell. Hook and separately. loop all inside. Hook yeah. and loop. The, every, pouch, every, every pouch is hook and loop. I don't think I've ever seen a fanny pack that you could use your own belt. That is awesome. Never. Yeah. That's, That's cool. what I'm really excited about. That was <laughs> something that we came up with at, at with Condor Cover 6. And uh, I like it because of this. I've always wanted to run a stiffer Condor. Mm -hmm. Cobra Bell because of that. Yeah. Doesn't move. It's supportive. Yeah. So none of that flopping around. Yeah. Um, you could run an IFAC in this thing. You can figure for any utility thing you need. Forgot to say this. This is another really cool feature. Take it up, it, it attaches right there. Oh, nice. So now you have the ability to have like a dangler, or sort of another, I think they call it a dangling something. Lower but it's area. lower pelvic extremity, but it's mostly a utility pouch that you can run as an IFAC, take it off and strip it. I like that. Remove it as the mission dictates. Yeah. Cool? Very, very cool. Good stuff. Like this it. is all prototype stuff. One thing that's really cool about this, looks like a standard boot, but here's the difference. This is one piece. There's no seams, there's no stitching. It's a PU molding process that takes the leather and bonds it to the product. So there's not gonna be any waterproofing issues. You know, boots separate right here. Even my high-end boots will separate. None of those issues anymore. So this is being prototyped right now. We're, we're testing it for abrasion, for leaking, for um, all sorts of problems. And so far it's been really promising. So look out for the new Condor footwear. Um, that will be integrated into all of these lines for urban and, and combat applications and law enforcement. So this caught my eye as well. Okay, so this is a different product. This is something that we've uh, produced for first responders and like active shooter threats. A lot of executive protection agents and stuff are looking at now law enforcement applications. Um, at first glance, obviously it looks like a like a briefcase, but it wasn't made for that. It's actually a fully functional tactical ballistic shield. Um, instantly deployed, like that. All right, so you can have, um, you could put a handgun in here, you could have something be standing there talking and deploy it. The really good part about it is that it's hands-free. 
That's totally different than other ballistic shields. So if I have to use force, if I have to hook someone up, if I have to push some people out of the way, if I have to fight a reload, I can reload and reacquire the shield within a second. That's cool. Other ballistic shields you have to set down. They're too big. And other folding stuff or other folding offerings don't have this simplicity. Right? What level is this? This is a level 3A. Stops everything up to 12 gauge slug, multiple rounds. But if you feel it, it's only six pounds. Yeah, I felt it That's earlier. That's the key. It's, it's, it's a lightweight. Light. Yeah. If you add our up armor plate, It'll stop six rounds of 308 AK-47-223. Oh, wow. Oh, you're talking yeah. about that plate right there? That white Dyneema press plate. We custom make those so they're bigger than sappy plates. Oh, okay. It's 11 by 17, so if you have a helmet on, you're actually covering all your vitals on the upper body. So this is the custom-made Dyneema plate. Uh, once in, it's a level max three, so it stops um, 308, six rounds of 308, 223, uh, and AK-47 rounds. Yeah, I, I believe Dyneema is used in um, aircraft, military aircraft. Yeah, as well, Dyneema right? is—it's a very commonly found fabric for high-end uh, ballistic armor. Mm -hmm. What we did was we just pressed it enough so that it'll make a bigger plate than a sappy. Yeah. But it only weighs four pounds as opposed to using AR-500, which would light. be like 15. Pounds. <laughs> so the total yeah. package, 10 pounds yeah. with rifle capability. Can you—is it just one plate that would fit, yeah, fit in there, or you slides put, in? Just one. We do have models that have multiples, but then yeah. it starts getting heavy, and then we start recommending. Yeah. Anyway, the, 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 the key to this is its versatility, it's lightweight, yeah. and it's affordability. It's $899. $899, that's not bad for Cheapest, a ballistic shield. Yeah. Most inexpensive How much are these the Dyneema market? plates? Are you selling those as these well? These are $599. $599, okay, yeah. awesome. Okay, so the guys out there that are impressed with this stuff, where can they go to get more information? All this stuff from Condor Elite is on the Condor website and also on the Condor Elite website at www.condor-elite.com. Uh, we also, some of the other stuff like the Ballistic Shields at Covered 6, where they're official trainers and consultants. We do all their gear testing and product design, so you can go to both websites and we'll steer you in the right direction. What's your website for the, uh, the other website? Uh, for Co Covered 6 is www.covered6.com with the number 6. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for your time. All right. Have a good shot, Joe. You too. Thanks.